Oh my god, and the liquid volume. I was always looking at everything in wonder. Just like, what is this? If we'd done this on wires, it would look hokey. If we tried to do this any other way, instead of being legit, it wouldn't be a James Cameron film. The underwater performance capture, first of all, it's a huge amount to think about. So there's not just the physical challenge of holding your breath. There's then the added challenge of acting out a scene underwater where everything is very different. You're having to imagine coral reefs, you're having to picture other Na'vi swimming around you. Then you have the challenge of your movements are very, very different underwater, finding that serenity and that calm. So there's all of that to take care of. And that's what you're after, just the truthful sensation. And that truth is what you need to make these movies work. <laughs> What Jim wanted to do is give the actors an environment that was going to be as realistic as possible, build sets, and give them the ability to swim through the water and give it waves and current and everything. We had decks that had this unistrut system built that were on gantries and chain motors so that we could lift them up and build the set on top of it above the water and then lower them back down once the set was built. That system has the ability to also tilt those platforms, and a lot of times we will need that relationship with interacted topography. Yeah.